Okay, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm on clear night portrait, uh, four notches down in darkness. And uh, as promised, I said once I got the stabilizer roughly worked out, I'd uh, come back here and uh, try and do the wits again properly out here and, and see if we can see what sort of uh, extent or furtherment there is. I'm on uh, clear night portrait, four notches down, three left, two down the colour grid because the sun is out, whereas we learnt from uh, wits of the Onsi cutting or burnout of the Onsi cutting that uh, when there is no sun that uh, we only need three notches down in uh, darkness. Hi. And uh, that seemed to be all right. And um, Vivi's sunset glow was quite good with no uh, sun, at only two notches down. And colour check on the semi glow activity of the ute there. But uh, we also learnt that um, a warm glowing nightscape was very good for no, it was probably slightly better than vivid sunset glow uh, with, no, with no sun out sort of thing but um, okay so stage one is to <laughs> go in this I'm a bit late because I went out got up there I was going to do another section up the abode there where the car broke down last uh, last season and I noticed a spot up there went out there didn't have my camera in the car. I'd gone back to get some money or something and left it on the bloody <laughs> lounge room table sort of thing. So, uh, and we'll come back in here and hopefully you're getting much better images now because we fixed the stabilizer roughly. And uh, even though we've had some rain, they won't look their best, but at least we have a much better, clearer image of them. And you should recognize this and uh, there were some out here. And I also I drove in there for about uh, 30 seconds with the bloody lens hood on. So I don't know, I've got a little micro clip there. But uh, oh, I don't know. As I said, they've been a bit washed out now. So, you know, until they be due back up again. And there's a whole week of rain. I managed to, I thought, well, you know, I'm going to chance it, fellas. You know, oh, I'm not on spot colour and focus yet, but. Uh, we find some really good ones, but to even go in there. But our job today is to, um, you know, yeah. Okay. Is to see what sort of extent, how far they go in, and do they go down here at all? Yes, there's some down here, and are there any down there? that we can see, is it worth going in there, or probably not. And we can come around here, and uh, see if we can, uh, yeah, they're looking a bit ratty now. And we'll just see if we can get in here, get a little bit further and see if, there's a, if they extend in here and uh, oh there's a few down here but as I said they all look a bit, a bit ratty sort of thing because the, the dew's been washed off and we're going to basically have a week of rain so there's no point coming back for the rest of the week and uh, after that it will take you know uh, two, three, four days for the dew to basically come back and uh, yeah there's a few in there but Nothing much to write home about, so uh, anything through here? No, sort of thing. Anyway, getting about four minutes on here, so I like to keep down to about six minutes, you know. It's good for uploads, long enough for you to get your, get a bit of juice into the, into the can, sort of thing. And of course then we have these problems with, you know, uh, sand on the plants as well and things like that. But uh, basically, getting a bit ratty at the moment. Until the dew comes back. 
after this week of rain and it will take like two, three, four days for it to, you know. But you know, they would look nice if they'd be dewed back up. And we'll probably come back to the path. See, there's a whole load in there, you know. Okay. And we might even try, uh, I don't know, just a little bit in here, just to see. Five minutes. To roughly see, you know, I think we did it last year a bit. Are they in this section? Blah, blah, blah. Did we, there are some here. Bit of colour check on the fungus there. Work our way through. Another sandy area in here. Lots of, they are around. As I say, this is why we call it the weed of the Southern Clay States, but as you can see, it doesn't look too clay on the ground here. And, uh, yes, yeah, so they will look nice if they're all nicely bedewed. And some, oh, they will look nice too. They're all out here, fellas. All much of a muchness, all much of a random pattern. In amongst the green ones, you get these nice red ones, I think. Okay. Going through here, patches and patches of them. Blah, blah, blah. Just a smorgasbord of greenish ones. Probably because of the low litage in the soil. More down here. More down here. I mean, is this going all the way down to the, back to the other path, or the other side of the other path? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go fellas. Yeah, oh, sorry, am I moving the camera too fast? But, you know, I've got a bit of a time there. I've made some snitches for tea tonight, so. <laughs> it's just I'm trying to beat the brain for the other patch. Okay, oh, here's a nice red one sticking out. One there, and one there. Yeah, all over the place here, fellas. And I'm assuming if we fought our way through, oh yes, I can see the other path, so I might actually do that. It will eight minutes, make it a nine minute clip to get to the other path because you won't believe me otherwise without getting any smeg on the camera lens uh, yes I think the kids have gone this way oh okay we're out and two helicopters I think they're doing practicing so uh, yeah. Colour check on the yellow of the Herbertia. Okay. Okay, so we also got that section in there, it was probably going to be roughly the same. Okay, time for a new clip. <laughs>